Wednesday night. Just got paid. Isn't that how the song goes? Wednesday night. Just got paid. Welcome back. This is the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show. I'm your host, Pat Renwick. And uh, hello, bass fishing galaxy. Hello. How are you? How have you been? How are you? I, I, hey, hey, hey now. I, I, I missed you all. What a crowd. Uh, what a crowd. Yes. We, hey. I, I, I'm, uh, we missed y'all last week. Uh, the, the power here in, uh, in Hammond, Indiana was uh, swept away by, by uh, an angry Mother Nature. Yes. An angry Mother Nature, but um, we are back this Wednesday, and uh, tonight, here we are with, ladies and gentlemen, the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show. Give it up again. That's how excited we are. Yes. 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 Look at this crowd. I know. Hey. <laughs> Crazy. Um, you know why they're here. Um, I don't, in case you don't know, uh, and you just showed up. Flatworms? Yeah, yeah, they, uh, but yeah, that's <laughs> oh. flat, uh, yeah. code. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Max well, Yeah. <laughs> uh, Justin Lucas, the champion. Yeah. Our buddy, Justin Lucas. He hasn't been on since his, uh, his bass uh, AOY. AOY. <laughs> hey, oh, why? Hey, oh, why in 2018? That's what. Uh, 18? Yeah. Oh. 18. Can we go back in time? <laughs> Gotta get back in time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but ju- Hello. Hello, dum dum. Yes. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Justin Lucas coming back on the show. I think um, for the second time, right? Yes. Only the second time ever in five years. That's correct. So we're happy to have. Uh, 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 Justin Lucas, and then um, a guy who's uh, who's our buddy. He's a he's a he's a friend of ours, uh, um, and he is also a uh, just another champion at bass fishing. And he is now, yeah, yeah, he is, and he has become um, one of the nation's leading deep water smallmouth gurus. That's John <laughs> Cox. John oh, Cox. Ax. Uh, Coming on the show. He is live from St. Clair on the eve of an elite series derb uh, from St. Clair, where uh, Seth Ooh. Fighter set the world on fire last time. Yes, set the world on set fire. Set that on fire. Sorry. Set the world on fire. Yes. <laughs> Hashtag. Get it? Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, John Cox coming on the show. Now, I know the real reason everyone's here tonight, and that is because. You have a chance to win what? Berkeley flatworms. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Max and flatworms. They're at a premium currently yes. too. Yes. They are yeah. going for how much on eBay? Eight thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars a satchel. Yeah. No, just per worm. Per worm. Yeah. JP, we, you had a figure uh, of that. How much are the? I I saw three packs for one hundred and fifty today. Three packs that for 150 bucks. I wonder who their target audience is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you know what? We have it straight cast because this is the glorified version of a bass fishing talk show. And we put on a show and everything we do, we do big. We do big, grande, like they would say in the Philippines. Or at Starbucks. Yes. Yes. Fra- uh, Starbucks. A fra- Starbucks. A frake fra- marche chato yeah. is like what, what you get. Um, but all you have to do to win, you know how many packs of flatworms? A how Berkeley many packs? Eight packs. Eight packs. Compliments of B-Rad Rutherford, Country Ryan, some Ooh. know him as, mm-hmm. Country Popcorn. Uh, Berkeley's giving away eight packs, a max set. That's and you huge. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. J- and here's the deal. Um, What's that, like $500 worth of flatworms? It's whatever you make of it. I'd fish them. I'd fish them, like old Bagley's. I'd fish them. Uh, but here, here's the deal. Oh, and they're JDM colors. You can't even get these. Like, you can't even get really? these if you want. No. So the, the, the price just went up. That's where magic happens on Bass Fishing Talk Shows. Wednesday nights, Trey Cast. Here's how you do it. Here's how you win at Bass Galaxy. You like and share the live Facebook feed. Like and share the live Facebook feed for your opportunity to win the Berkeley Max Scent Flatworms. Compliments of Brad Rutherford and Berkeley Fishing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You better Eight do it. Eight packs. Eight yeah. packs. Uh, speaking of a guy that's already put his entry in. Hey, uh, give me drums. Give me a beat. Give me a beat. Yes. Ryan, introduce yourself. Floor, floor time's a little out of tune. Yeah, introduce um, yourself tonight. 
Hi. I'm Ryan Whitaker. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan Whitaker. Drunk. <laughs> Yes, he likes uh, long walks on the beach, horseback yeah. riding, yeah. and Berkeley flatworms. Yeah. Yes. Ryan. I've got a, I've got a face for radio and a uh, voice for TV. <laughs> and, right. and, and a fistful of dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Speaking of fistful of dollars, Ryan, uh, the tin cup, the tin cup. Yes, sir. Tin whiskey. cup drinking game. Tin cup whiskey drinking We're game. We're doing it again. Can it you believe it? takes place every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. On Straycast. And, yes, sir. Um. You, what's the word? There's, there's a key the word? word. Every what's, time you hear this what's word, the deal? take a drink of whatever you want, but mainly tin cup. Um, the word is flatworm. <laughs> so oh, you're no. behind. You're behind by six right Good now. No, starting Actually. now. Good luck. Yeah. Starting now. No, no. <laughs> Catch up. Catch up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been playing, but I'm the only one that knew the game. Well, I, I, so. I, I, appreciate, um, I appreciate tin cup whiskey. They're they're. I, for for coming aboard here, yes, with Stray Cast, and uh, um, they are also uh on board with the uh, our buddies in Jersey, Ike Live now, Tin yeah. Cup Whiskey. If you did not know, so we're pretty happy to be awesome. working with our brethren in that. Yeah, we got more cool it stuff. It should get nice and sloppy next time we see them. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> on your co- on a collab <laughs> show, we'll be keeping the peace. You guys want to hang out? <laughs> Speaking of hang out, this guy barely made it in the nick of time. Uh, he actually hitchhiked. He missed the bus. He hitchhiked here from uh, from Acapulco. Ladies and gentlemen, he's always on him these days with an OG stinky Matt Robertson on him hat. JP Hi Ho Ha. JP Hi, the hip hop guy. JP Hi, he missed the bus. JP Hi, he's a power low. You like the head, yeah. uh, you like the uh, HD tight rope, Jake. I know. I, I know love you. you. I know you do. I know you do, JP. I love that intro. I get pumped. Yeah. What's that I, HD stand for? Yeah. Uh, high definition. Honor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Heavy duty. High Honorably duty. deployed. <laughs> fire apartment. <laughs> Speaking of fire, fire. Downtown fire. Ladies and gentlemen, the most fire producer in the bass fishing industry. He's red on the head like a red Viking should be. He's Andrew Ellenberger, the ginger. How are we doing? How are we doing? Ginger. Yo. Ginger, ginger. Yeah. What's up, Ginger Ninja? Great. How are you? What are you doing? Uh, just pushing buttons. <laughs> what does mine say? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> hey, um... Andy, you know what? I want to wish uh, a happy anniversary um, to uh, our buddy Dan Bravarni and his wife. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Happy anniversary to the to the Bravarnis. Mostly to her though, for staying with that guy. Yeah, absolutely. That's got to be a freaking nightmare. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Love you, Dan. Uh, and also another amazing um, uh, a collab. Let's call it a collab. Uh, eight years. Uh, congratulation, uh, Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box. Yes. Happy anniversary. Eight years, huh? Yeah. Wow. This month. This awesome. month. Awesome. Yeah, and we're going to open. Uh, we have the Augusto, Ooh. which in uh, Roman means August. Yes. Yes, in Roman languages. Uh, we're going to open this Mystery Tackle Box later on in the show, and we're going to give them away, too. We always do. We 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 give Minus away a few things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> see, I didn't see that one. <laughs> I didn't 80, see that. 70%. <laughs> I ate some. Hey, um <laughs> I want to tell you guys, all kidding aside, you've been hearing me talk about the last few months about birchgold.com slash straight cast. Okay. It's a constant precious metal IRAs, right? You've heard about it. Here's the bottom line. Um, there's one thing that has never gone down in history has never lost value and it's gold since the days of the pirate that booty till today's booty you know what i mean you are you know what i mean everybody takes gold you know what i'm saying you know what i mean yeah birchgold.com slash straycast check it out you'll never go broke if you invest 
Yeah. <laughs> it just wasn't fast enough. <laughs> yes, that was very Pirate of the Caribbean. Thank you. That's <laughs> okay. Hey, um, but uh, now that uh, I, I, I've got that here, I want to tell you about Bubba and Hanks, uh, dot com. Code word what? What, guys? Fish. Fish. Gets you what? 15% off. 15% off Wagyu beef. That's what I'm talking All about. All the beefs you can get. That's what I'm talking about. Get you a couple, two trees. Yeah. Get you a couple, two, <laughs> couple three beefs. Couple, two, three, four, five, six, whatever it get is. Get out there in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, BubbaandHanks.com. Code word fish. 15% off Wagyu beef. Um, hey, uh, I want to tell you one thing I'm always uh, losing is sunglasses. No more. I thought you were going to say fish. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> but it's usually because I'm talking the whole time. That's, <laughs> that's usually because I'm talking the whole time. Um, but uh, amphibia eye gear. I want to tell you that um, I sincerely mean this. I, I have not had a better pair of sunglasses. Um, I'm with you. And, and I've had good sunglasses, but here's the problem. I always lose them. Yeah. And I know Andy will attest, you've already... It, it, because the amphibious float, you already get, uh, saved a day a couple times. Oh yeah, on those things. I saw them next to your power poles. That Especially time. with the yeah, kids. man. <laughs> Last weekend, I had them on my hat in a derb because it was it was cloudy and I got mad and missed the fish. Threw my hat down, threw my glasses in the water, <laughs> went over there, picked them up. There it is, just like that. Yep, they so float. Check it out. Uh, uh, seriously, check out amphibious. Um, if if you have not, uh, I oh here's what I want to tell you. Uh, last but not least, um. Uh, Crestliner Boats, um, I got a chance to go out this week uh, with Dave Cox. Uh, Dave Cox, a, a friend of Straight Cast forever. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, he got hooked up by Ryan, Big Ryan at Crestliner. Yeah. And he got the new Storm 16. Oh, and nice. Dude. I'm excited with, to see it. With the 50 Merc? Yeah. Yeah, I want one. That's, That's a river runner. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's cool. 16-footer uh, Crestliner Storm. 50 horsepower Merc, uh, four stroker, boom, pow, bang, sleep jacker. There it is. Uh, hey, let's get to the deal. Let's. Did I get everything before we go? Did I? I mean, w did I get it all? Yeah. Am there, I? There's uh, a there's a half a spot derby. Oh. oh my gosh! Yes, JP. Thank you so much. The half a spot derb. Um, and this is unlike any other half a spot derb before. You've heard us tell you about uh, half a spot dot com. Uh, yes. Half a spot official on Facebook. Uh, and uh, on the Instagram, but here's the thing: they are now having a kids derb, a kids derb for all ages. I believe nice. up to 15, um, and uh, it goes on until the end of the month. The th what is it? The 30th? 30th. The yep. 30th. Okay, half a spot. Check out the virtual online kids derb. Uh, prizes, fun time, the whole family. If you have not already downloaded the uh, half a spot official app on your iPhone or your Android. Do so. Hey, yeah. I, I'm Pat hey. Renwick. What? Also, I need some line and lure, too. Uh, why, before I forget, I need some more line and lure. <laughs> you hear that? My thumbs are burning. <laughs> All right. Put the, power <laughs> Put the power poles down. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back with Justin Lucas. Champion. XF Series by Crestliner. Simplistic perfection with performance features built on a platform for success. The amazingly affordable XF Series by Crestliner. A brand new way to reel in bass. For more information and to find your local dealer, visit Crestliner.com today. The Crestliner Real Deal Sales Event. The best time to buy is now at Crestliner.com. Save up to $3,000 today. It's Carl, and I've got some big plans this fishing season. I'm hoping to get in the best shape of my life to have some of the best fishing of my life. 
and I want you to join me for Carl's spring training. Let's get it. Let's get it. The TH Marine Hydrowave H2 KVD Edition is a surefire way to ignite a feeding frenzy. The Hydrowave utilizes a sound emitting technology that imitates bait fish and other feeding fish below the surface that preys on the competitive nature of bass and other game fish to get you more bites. The Hydrowave is another way that TH Marine has you covered from transom to trolling motor. Minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff. This is the mountain, and this is mountain whiskey. Unspoiled, untamed, forever wild. There's no safety net. No way down. Up here, it's just man and the mountain and his tin cup. Tin cup whiskey. Mountain whiskey. Step up your game. It has been said that professionals are only as good as the tools they work with. And Alpha Angler has developed the ultimate set of tools for you, the competitive angler. Alpha Angler Custom Rods, brought to fruition by the passion of Master Craftsman Jake Boomer and 2017 BASS Angler of the Year, Brandon Palinick. Alpha Angler Rods are custom made in the USA designed and engineered to be perfect. Alpha Angler utilizes a very unconventional approach to making the very best bass rods, from drop shotting to flipping. Alpha Angler's focus is on building perfectly balanced tournament grade bass rods at an affordable price. Join the Alpha Lusion today and purchase direct at alphaangler.com. Step up your game, alphaangler.com. As a professional angler, I rely on my equipment to be successful on the water, and my eyewear is no exception. Oh, yep, yep, good one. Six pounder, seven pounder. From daylight till dark, every single day of my life, in the truck, on the water, my Amphibia eye gear provide 100% polarized protection. They're ANSI safety rated for impact, and best of all, they float. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Welcome back. Hey, I'm gonna remind you, like and share this live feed for your chance to win eight sacks of JDM flatworm, Maxent Berkeley flatworms. Uh, a guy who is no stranger at all to Berkeley flatworms is our next guest. He is sitting in front of a pile of flatworms. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring wow. to you 
for the second time ever on straight cast. It's the Lord of the Flatworm. It's, yeah. it's <laughs> Justin Flatworm. Lucas, champion. What's up? Cha three tour champion. Three What's tour up? champion. Three tour. <laughs> Come on, Justin. That's cool, man. That's cool. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take man. It. I'll, I'll tell you what, dude. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you great. Awesome. Okay. So here's the deal. I've got some of those JDM flatworms too. Okay. So are you showing how off? many? How many people are you picking to win tonight? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a it's a like and share. So what they have? To, well, you're picking the winner. Hope you know, Jay. We're gonna send it to you on the randomizer, and you and John Cox are gonna pick the winner. So um, okay. You know, so it, are we are we just picking one winner that's getting eight packs? Yeah, yeah. Or should we do it different? Like, what do you think? No, I, I'm thinking I'm gonna match that. Whoa! And we'll pick two. We'll pick two winners. Oh breaking, my. breaking news! Hold, ladies and gentlemen, this just in. Did, did that just, just come just from in. a three-tour champion? I think yeah. so. This just in: an additional eight <laughs> bags of Berkeley Max and Flatworms, courtesy of Justin Lucas. Two winners. I'm, Thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, that's that's got to be worth at least a hundred bucks on eBay right now. So. Oh, more, more than yeah, that. Yeah, we heard Maybe more. more. <laughs> yeah, we heard mm -hmm. more. We heard more. But, yeah, I'll, I'll match that. <laughs> hey, man. I, so just just do me a favor and send me the address, or I guess after we pick or whatever, send yeah. me the address. Okay, yeah. I'll send you my well, address. I'll, get, I'll give the winner your personal phone number and all that <laughs> yeah, stuff please, and all please, the contact yeah. information. <laughs> so I have to get a hold of you direct. Not just, <laughs> but hey, no, Um, seriously, thanks for throwing that up, man. Wow. Yeah. That's a yeah, big absolutely. deal. absolutely. That's a big no deal. No problem. Like and share the live feed. Oh, and take it off of privates. You got to take it off a of private so you can Hide see in the, in the randomizer. That's right. And then JP, hi, will send the uh, the info to you guys, and you guys pick it. But anyway, uh, Justin, welcome back to the show, dude. It, uh, Thank I mean, you. We're if you can't Thank tell, you. we're excited to have you back. I mean, <laughs> the the last time was your AOI victory, I believe, right? Gosh, man, yeah, it's pretty much two years ago now. That was the <laughs> end of end of September. But I really haven't done much in the bass fishing world to deserve to be on any podcast since then. I've been getting my butt kicked, uh, but it, it feels good to change that around. Well, you're you are always a presence, so, so let's make that be known. And you are an advocate of the good good. In in my eyes, you are an advocate. What's what's the good good? The good good is like the good of bass fishing. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. You're you're on that good good feeling. You know what okay. I mean? It's like I, I don't know it. I don't know if it's a vibe from your from um your western upbringing. Um <laughs> you know <laughs> I don't know exactly how to how to pin it, but you know, let's face it, man. Um the good good can be whatever you want it to be for any okay. Ind individual, okay? Okay. We as bass fishermen, no matter how you look at it, Justin, we're always chasing the high, okay? Sure. The tug sure. is the drug. Fooling yep. the fish. That's why we do this. We're like Bugs Bunny in bassin because we like to fool bass. You know what I mean? Yep. We yep. just don't look as good in skirts as Bugs Bunny does. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So Wiley Coyote, Wiley Coyote, yeah. the, the same thing. So that's the good, good. Okay. So here I want to ask you now, I want you to think, let's talk about dreams for a moment. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want you to relax. Okay. Now relax, get into a, a kind of a dream state. You know what I'll I mean? Do it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like a, 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 a three tour champion, uh, dream state. <laughs> you know what I mean? That kind of dream. I feel you. I feel you. Now, you must have had dreams of of bass fishing, like I, dude, two thousand three. Let's go back to uh, um to an old uh, an old derb. Where 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 was that? The old Western Open. The old Western Open. A little yeah. Young, a little young Justin Lucas. Yeah. With hopes and dreams. That's like how many years sure. ago? I'm a bad mather, but that's like what seventeen years ago. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Dude. Yep. Come on. The hopes and dreams, the dreams of the good, good, right? right? Yeah, I feel you. Is that, feel is that where it you. starts? Is that where it starts for you? Is that kind of where the deal started? The whole derb bug? Uh, the derb bug started my uncle Phil, uh, who's passed on now. He took me to a 
actually my first tournament, I believe, was a, like a snag proof frog only, or it might not even been a frog tournament back then, but he made it a frog tournament. Like he said, <laughs> he, was only throw. he was punching he said, frogs with the one ounce. Dude, I'll never forget. He was throwing a frog on a fiberglass rod. That's how much we knew about bass fishing. Really? Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Wow. So, but he knew the basics, you know, he knew how to rig a Texas rig, rig a Carolina rig, all of that. And so anyway, I fished that first tournament with him and, and that was, that was really the, the catching point right there. Like I was 12 years old and I remember going home, talking to my grandpa and telling him how much I love this fishing thing. Well, he was a truck driver, but he had a little aluminum boat and okay. he started working on that. He started working on it immediately. And I would go home and pass his house every day from school. I would rollerblade home and I'd stop by and see my grandpa, you know, <laughs> on some of these days working on this boat. And he's like, I'm going to get it ready for us. We're going to be fishing out of this thing. Heck yeah. In no, in no time. And that's, that's how it kind of all started for me. Wow. Uh, my parent, my dad was a Marine contractor. So I also spent a lot of time at work with my parents, uh, and after school and whatnot. And I would always fish around you know because he had tugboats and barges and everything in the far north uh delta actually in the port of sacramento so i did a lot of fishing up there at that young age too gotcha gotcha that's how it all got started man so i I mean and and everything you just said about those fishing trips the 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 tugboats the aluminum boat build like that dude that's like that's the good good do you see what I'm saying? Oh yeah. That, that, yeah, yeah. That's that's no, the that's the good good. That's what that's what leads to to today. Now here's yeah. here's my next question for you about dreams. Do you ever have fishing dreams? Like do, yeah, do you... that I'm like late for weigh in, or that <laughs> I, I that I'm putting my boat on a body of water where other guys aren't allowed, and then I get like I'm on this secret place, but then people are talking about it, and I get caught or wow. something like that, you know. So you have so, yeah, I've had those dreams. Okay, so they're like panic dreams, panic yeah, passing yeah. dreams. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I I got you. Like when I when I have a dream about fishing, it's usually not really like it. It'll be about some past experiences, but I have a reoccurring dream, and okay. and, and all of my therapists cannot pinpoint what it is. My entire team <laughs> of therapists. So what I what I have, Justin, is like so I imagine that my bedroom is underwater. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I have bunk beds, right? And I yeah. have only spinning rods with bait casting reels. Ooh. Yes. So Ooh. It, it, it's a dilemma. I actually, had, I had one of those a long time ago. Yeah. 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 I think, well, the, the reason I had, I think that's in my dream is because when Bo Dowden won the uh, Bassmaster Classic on the St. Lawrence River, Thousand Islands, what was that, Ryan? 80 what? 1980. 80. Uh, 1980. Was he doing yep. that? Yeah. Was he doing a, a spinning on a bait cast? No. Well, here's the versa? here's a little bass in history for you, Mr. Lucas. Uh, that was pretty much the first derb that was ever won on a seven foot rod, and that wow. yeah, he was using a, actually a cotton cordell, um, mm. two handed jigging stick. Was it telescopic? It, it, it was a two piece that came off <laughs> the handle. It, the, the rod came out at the handle like one of the Japanese rods. So it could fit in the six. Dude, you know rod what? Rod. I was not using that last week on Erie. I promise <laughs> you. <laughs> you did not have that one on there. <laughs> I was not using the two handed jigging stick. <laughs> but hey, no. uh, so maybe that's why it's in there. But so you have panic bass fishing dreams, is what you yeah. had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. For sure. You, you yeah, wait for late for weigh in, fish dying, fishing, getting my boat in the area I shouldn't be in, that those type of things. Yeah. Now, we have a common denominator amongst champions on this show, and um, okay, yeah, and and we've compiled quite a bit of info. I do believe we've been doing this for five years already. They're still letting us on that's, the air. That's that's crazy. That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Unbelievable yeah. that you guys are allowed on the internet. Ex- thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But here is what Nobody's we have kicked us out yet. Here is what we have. Yeah, my sorry, ma. But anyway, um, so oh, it's for you. You want to take that? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. I'll call it back. <laughs> hey, um, the common denominator is that every champion has had some sort of vision or feeling or funny feeling. Okay, you've had two recent victories do you do you yeah. have did you have that did you like i don't want to necessarily say that takahiro i knew it but yeah no i hear you well, did you have anything I, I didn't uh yeah i really didn't have that man i just really 
you know, no, no. It was like both of these things were just kind of – I just got confidence back at the heavy hitters event in okay. Florida. And down there on the final day uh, for that first period – until they turned current on where I was fishing. I was fishing <laughs> real close to this dam and lock down there. <laughs> but at that point, that was the first time I had tasted like a chance to win in a few years or a couple of years. I, well, a couple of years because I had a chance to win against Bertrand uh, at the St. Lawrence River two years ago. So it's hard to taste victory every year, right? It's hard to be in contention to taste victory every year. And, uh, you know, I, I hadn't felt that. Uh, I never felt that in 2019, not at all. Okay. And at the beginning of this year, of course, I didn't feel it, but that was our fourth event of the year. And I felt that like hunger and the fire getting lit, Gotcha. getting, getting close to first place. And so I finished fourth there. And I think that was the best thing that could have happened to be honest, because <laughs> dude, it lit a fire under me. Like, You're like, torched. bam, I got my confidence back. I cannot wait to get to Sturgeon Bay. I'm going to figure out, how to have another good tournament up there. You can't say you're ever going to figure out how to win. You can say you're going to figure out how to have a good tournament, but you just don't know the factors of how many people are going to be in this area. How hard is it going to get hit? What is the wind going to do to this area? You don't know that stuff. You don't, you know, never. That's that's a week, two weeks out. You know that like winning a tournament kind of, it starts to transpire. You start to get that feel during the tournament because you realize maybe what you're doing how much pressure it's getting, how much it's not, all that. That kind of starts to give you that feeling. So I went up to Sturgeon Bay. I had an incredible practice, and there's, like, no one around me where I'm fishing. <laughs> hardly <laughs> hardly anybody. I'm like, that was the only time ever I told my wife in 10 years now. I've been doing this for 10 years, and I've never once told my – and we've been dating for 10 years. My the, the first year I fished as a pro was the first year I met my wife. So – as long as I've known her and as long as I've been doing this, I've never said I felt like I could win a tournament until Sturgeon Bay. Wow. And I just had that confidence back, man. And of course, it's smallmouth, and I feel like I've really learned a lot more about smallmouth over the years. I got my butt kicked the first few years on the Great Lakes, but I, I have gotten a lot more confidence with them. So wait, what, what was yeah. the problem? What was So what was your problem to you? Justin, I think I was just intimidated by the lakes, the size of the lakes, you know, and then not being able to break them down because I felt like they were so big and there's so much water I needed to cover to try and find the fish. And I think that was just a big intent. I mean, there's some detail specific stuff like what I look for and how I find fish now that, you know, I love you guys. And people have gotten mad at me for saying this on another podcast, but there's no way I can share some of the stuff I've learned about smallmouth fishing because I mean, it's taken me a long time to learn it. All right, wait, hold on. Andy, yeah. turn, off the bro- turn off the broadcast. Just turn yeah, everything turn, off. Turn it off. But go ahead. Justin. I'm not telling right, anybody. My brother, <laughs> I told my brother and I told my stepdad <laughs> and they both, uh, they both don't fish and they're both sworn to secrecy, not to share. So did it blow their mind? There's just, there's just some things I've learned, man. I've spent a lot of time, you know, I, I took vacations up to St. Lawrence river and spent, you know, I spent a week up there with Paul and Nick and Bertrand uh, that people never knew that stuff, you know? So we spent a lot of time up there fishing those places, renting homes, spending our money to learn those places. Sure. And it's just valuable stuff that you just can't go off and share with the world. There's so much good information available on the internet now, but hopefully that motivates some guys to go do what we did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And a hundred percent. You go do what we did, put in the time, you know, fish a body of water 14 hours a day for, five days in a row, you're going to learn a freaking ton about that place. And mm-hmm. here's the other common denominator amongst champions. And you just touched on it right there. Um, n- not only do they sometimes have feelings or visions, but, and not only do they figure out the fish, but they come to a point where they figure out themselves somewhat as an yeah. angler. It's a yeah, realization yeah, yeah. or an awareness and yeah. whether your small mouth secret is even whatever. I mean, it, it, but the fact is it gives you 
that revolution in your mind as an no alien. doubt that no rejuvenation doubt. Yeah. That, knowing, knowing what works for you yeah, yeah. man and and so, yeah and what works for me not might not work for the next guy exactly you know? but they, hey like jim yeah. morrison said you get your your kicks before the whole shit house goes up in flames justin <laughs> lucas you know what i mean and you might as well I, ride that ride it while you I can you. you know I hear you. R- ride yep. it while you can now you you said also you've been on about six million uh, podcast. I know you did. Uh, you also did uh, Fallon. You mm-hmm. did. You did. Yeah. yeah you were yeah, on, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Kimmel. You were on Kimmel <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, last night. Yeah. You did Br- Alan. Forgot, show I too. forgot about those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, so, yeah. So what we do here with champions uh, after they make the, the rounds of, of talk shows um, mm-hmm. is kind of give uh, like and there's great places to hear uh, that type of, of technical information. And it would be an injustice if we did not touch on it uh, and celebrate with you. But what we do is called victory in a nutshell. All okay. Right? And we're going to cover your, um, your Sturgeon Bay uh, victories and your, or your Sturgeon Bay victory and your Lake Erie victory uh, in a nutshell. Are, are you cool with that? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. So I'm going to like give you a little, a little, uh, you know, a little keyword or, or uh, phrase and you kind of just elaborate on it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's have, okay. let's have okay. fun with it. Okay. All right. That's nutshell music. I like that, Andy. Can you hear that, Justin? Yeah, I can hear it. That's good. I feel like I'm in the, the 20s, the yeah. roaring 20s. Yeah, step right up. See here, kid? Yeah, see? It's a victory <laughs> in a nutshell with Justin Lucas. It's an FLW and a BPT champ. Wow. That annoyed me. All right. Ready? Here we go. Um... A hundred. So are these one one word answers or just like one sentence? No, answer? whatever, dude. You did your. Okay. It's up to you. You, you like All right. go on I'll roll with or do short stuff, whatever. It's your yeah, deal, yeah. dude. Your deal. You. Uh, 141 pounds, nine ounces. Uh, freaking unbelievably crazy. Never would have thought that in a million years. Nuts. That nuts. For, for yeah, those nuts. that don't know, that's in a day. What they don't understand, though, is like guys can say they went out there and caught 50 fish in a day, but to do it in seven and a half hours, I'm and I never moved spots. So, like, I literally never took the time to sit down and move spots. I, I think I did the math. I was catching, I was weighing one every nine minutes for seven and a half hours. That's, <laughs> that's, it. that's insane. Were, were you so I, I, You know, guys go out there and they're like, oh, I got 50 fish today. Well, yeah, you fished for 13 hours maybe or 14 hours. And you probably really caught like 39, yeah. but you're saying you caught 50. Exactly. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, insane. That is insane. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Okay. That was That was nuts. <laughs> So, I would have bet. I would have bet ten grand that that wasn't gonna happen that day. So that has to be like a moment that's like in the bass and spank bank of Justin Lucas. Like you, <laughs> you. I mean, you you close your eyes, you're thinking of that one, bud. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, that's just that's, that's a different kind of on dream. The, on the mother load, dude. I mean, that's just rare, rare. <laughs> um, all right, uh, <laughs> dude. Um, forty-five pound margin. What? 45 pound margin. What is that, bro? Right, isn't, isn't that going into the last? Didn't you have like a 45 pound margin at one point? Somewhere. Oh, like that. was that? That blew up was probably after my qualifying round. Yeah. yeah. I had like yeah. 205 pounds, and, and second was 160. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I was kind of sitting. I was sitting on that 197, 198, 199 mark, and. Uh, Cliff Crochet and Justin Atkins were fishing like 100, 200 yards from me. And they're yelling, 200, 200. You know, Cliff Crochet, 200, 200. <laughs> and he's sitting there yelling at I'm like, well, if it was kind of like, you know, I call my shots that week because it was just the fishing was stupid for me. So uh, like two minutes later, I caught a three pounder, and bumped over 200, and Crochet was going nuts about 200 yards away. So <laughs> it, it was pretty cool to get over 200 now that I think about it. At the time, I didn't really care. Because I was like, hey, I'm going to win this qualifying round. I don't want to waste another fish. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> another potential fish, you know, because we were starting. We start over on our final round. But, uh, yeah, it all worked out, man. I was glad I got over that 200-pound mark. Yeah. The, the, the gap between second and I don't really care. I mean, you know, whatever. But the 200-pound mark was cool. Do you, do you think there's anywhere else on your schedule that that can be beaten? 
200 over 200 pounds i don't know man i fished lake fork in the prime prime when keith combs won i think it was 2014 he won with 111 pounds for three days and i had 97 pounds and got fourth <laughs> but we just weren't i don't think we were catching enough like i was tired of catching five pounders but everything seemed That's to be thing. like four four and a half plus it That's was a insane thing. dude we maybe five pounders maybe Gosh, if you darn. Hit lake lake fork perfectly but i legit remember being like hooking one on the swim bait and be like dude it's another five pounder come on get in here like Get off my line. You know what Edwin Edwin Evers Evers was saying that day? What? Another dad gum five pounder. Another dad gum. Yeah. Another dad gum. Hey, Golly uh, bum. Speaking of uh speaking of uh Cliff Crochet, um you remind me sometime to tell you the story about when me, Cliff, Mike Iconelli, and Brian the Carpenter crank called uh Skeet Reese in the middle of the night. And oh, Andy geez. Andrew Ellenberger. Yeah, he, it was all Andy's fault, actually. Yeah. Didn't Cliff hit a, hit a lady in the face with his dip too? No. Cliff, Cliff oh, was on geez. the boat. That's, that's something I, I neither that's neither deny or whatever yeah. that statement. Dip, I said. D I P. Yeah, dip. You, you put yeah. your hand upon your hip. You said you dip. You dip. You yes. dip. I heard. Yeah, exactly. you, I heard you the first time. Yeah. Justin, I want to talk to you about Sturgeon Bay spawning bass and how you um, calculated the movement of the fish. To uh, to your benefit, <laughs> to your hundred and your your big time yeah. day, your hundred and twenty one so, pound day, dude. That was crazy because I started practice at Washington Island, which is at the tip of Door County, and I started there with probably like ten or twelve other of our guys. You know, they announced that we were going to be able to trailer around for that event, which was really cool because it opened up this huge body of water where it would have confined us a lot more had it not been that way. So I was a big fan of that, but um, I sucked up there fished there till about 11 o'clock, put it on the trailer, went and fished this another area called Raleigh's Bay and mm. never even saw a bass there. Might've saw like one that big chasing <laughs> my jerk bait. And I kept going back thinking while I'm fishing to this article that I read doing some research on Google that there was an estimated eight to 10,000 bass that spawn in little Sturgeon Bay. That's and insane. It, it didn't talk about big Sturgeon Bay. It just talked about little Sturgeon Bay. And if yeah. you look at it on a map compared to big Sturgeon Bay, it's like a quarter of the size of big Sturgeon Bay. Pretty small. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm like, like, I'm out. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm not an idiot, but I'm out here trying these other things. And they're obviously not working. So I'm just going to go where I think the biggest population of fish is. Of course. And, and that whole north bank of Sturgeon Bay, as soon as I put my boat in the water, I went and looked on up there on that north bank up shallow and there's no beds no clean beds no old beds no beds gone i'm like these fish are they've already spawned they're gone i haven't even seen a fish up shallow and the water temperature was abnormally warm on the great lakes this year for whatever reason but uh so it told me i'm like well these fish have got to be there's no way they're all the way back out on this on the main body of water yet they still got to be in this bay somewhere and so i just started browsing around in the bay man and i got around those grass clumps on a big flat you know, probably about a half mile to a mile off of where they would spawn. And it was out in 12 to 16 feet of water. That's where I did all my damage the final day. And then there was another bay, like at the mouth of Sturgeon Bay, a smaller bay. And there was a big point coming out of there. And that was just the first place they were going to move to when they were done spawning. So all those fish were totally, uh, they were not in a summer pattern. They were, that was post-spawn just off the beds where are they first going to go gotcha. until they start moving out and, yeah and dialed it man In, inter intercepted right there. That's what you, <laughs> you ambushed them yeah that, that's a that's a brandon polonic move yeah on, that's like know? brandon's bermuda triangle exactly he, he, he knew where yeah, they were going it? yeah and then they just disappear into his life well, they play hi, they play hide and go <laughs> f yourself too yeah they do that they do that, they do that. <laughs> all right that that's uh that's sturgeon sturgeon bay in a, in a nutshell congratulations yeah, on your thank you. uh, thank bass you. pro tour victory bro the confidence builder the confidence yeah. builder 100 and you went over to the mississippi river feeling decent and then uh you moved your way over to erie to yep. lake erie all right now this we're gonna do another uh, victory in a nutshell, but okay. we're gonna do rapid fire. Uh, did you ever see Benny Hill? 
Mm, no, Benny Hanna. <laughs> Benny Hanna is a good uh, restaurant. Uh, not bad. Not they, uh, bad. <laughs> but uh, we're we're gonna do rapid fire, uh, Lake okay. Erie victory in a nutshell. Are you ready? Okay. Here it yes. is. There. Now it is. All right. Rides to St. Clair. Not fun. <laughs> Suck you. Not having Super it, right? Sucky. Not having it. No. Not having it. No. Suck you. I think I'll stick with the girls in town. There's not as many, but they're a lot fatter. Yeah. What's that mean? That's a good way to put it. Yeah. That's just, uh, that's that's exactly what I was thinking when I was fishing those shoals <laughs> out there in front of San Dusky. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. I'll, I'll lead through these ugly drums and uh, catch me a good beautiful small mouth every night every hour that's every how, hour that's how it, it, it never cool. failed in college you know what i mean no yeah just, bite an hour yeah stick One with bite an hour. stick with the townies stick with the townies <laughs> you know what i'm saying you used to host the yeah. college show you know yeah i know remember I when you were a college host show host i was i was uh i was uh dave mercer of college Fishing. you were yeah freaking awesome sure was yeah okay. that's that's a long way I mean, we're a long ways off that see time. what i did right there see what i did yeah hey I uh, do. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm at the mercy of the wind. I'm at the mercy of the wind on Erie. Ooh, that's just uh, typical. <laughs> typical is the word. Old standard, as Bobby Lane would say. Old standard. That's just old standard, bud. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, old standard. That wind dictated spots, didn't it? You used it to oh, your advantage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, yeah. You got to use it to your advantage, but you gotta you gotta realize that that wind. Uh, there's always current on that lake based off what the wind did the previous day or days and based off of what it's doing currently. So you just got to know that you got to be willing to change with the fish. And that's why so many people typically at Lake Erie will go out one day, have a great day, wind changes direction, the fish are gone. They come in the next day and they have a tough time. Remember, And uh, that just happens. Remember the uh, 2003 uh, young Justin Lucas, like, Yes. Did, did did you ever think that Justin Lucas would be figuring out wind patterns to win one hundred and sixty thousand dollar derbs? No, I wow. didn't figure out. No, no, I didn't figure out that wind stuff. So just a, just recently. See what I'm like saying? Three or four years. Yeah. See yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? There, there, yeah, there's... that's uh, you never think about that, especially growing up in California. You don't think about what the wind does to smallmouth bass in ohio when you're living in california <laughs> it's just, just it's just not happen. even there right <laughs> no nah, you're like really you're like thought. what's going on at the circle k i mean that's <laughs> yeah, what you're yeah. worried about yeah. I, I i totally get it <laughs> um it's it's a.m. p.m. for us out there <laughs> yeah oh the a.m. p.m. okay gotcha gotcha a.m. PM, PM, yeah. mini mart i know i know yeah, i know i know 7-11 uh, yeah. yeah, i gotcha um, hey, what the heck was on that spot? What was that? It looked like the Death Star or something. I think what and Kumar called it something. I don't know. What was that spot? So you saw pictures? Yeah. Okay. So my buddy, Gray Buck, uh, he went back. Which is an awesome name, by the way. I love the name Gray Buck. He's got the coolest name yeah, ever. Good. Thank you. Um, he, so he goes back out the day after the tournament and, fi- and drops his camera down there and come to find out it's man-made, but he has no idea what it is. Really? And neither do I. So, it's either man-made, UFO-made, we're not really sure. Gotcha. But you kind of feel like, I don't know, like you would be able to idle past it on side imaging, which I did, and be like, oh, that's a that's a boat. But it's, I don't think it's a boat. Like, okay. I don't know what it is, dude. I have a solution. There's, there's a couple, like, little man-made boxes around it, too, that are a couple feet tall. It's weird. I don't know. It's kind of weird. The, uh, do you... Do you know our buddy Matt Robertson from Kentucky Lake? Uh, on him, hmm. on him fishing, Matt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you you yeah. know Matt. Well, he's a swimmer. Like when he he went whenever he goes fishing with with me and Fighter, we're on when all three of us are together. He always ends up swimming. And okay, uh, yeah, he did a little deal. Can he, can he swim twenty feet deep? Yeah, yeah, he did all that. He can do all that. He's a swimmer. Like he don't even need stuff. He just goes. You don't even wow. need equipment. Yeah, he's like from another planet. Just tidy whities wow. Yeah, just he do, and he does it in his tidy whitey underwears. That's true story. So we'll get him out yeah. there and we'll figure out exactly what it is. Wait, get yeah. You're just you're just trying to get the waypoint, bro. <laughs> you know where we live, right? 
we're yeah. uh, we're in Indiana. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Uh, hey, uh, last thing, um, that uh, new Xenon Princess Warrior Abu Garcia mm-hmm. reel that you have and nobody else does, and I, I'm kind of jelly. I'll be honest, even though I don't even like spinning reels. Look at what you, Andy. Look what he's doing with the new Xenon. Not, you not, want me to just rub it in a little yeah. bit? Ah, look Zoltan, at that. Zoltan, little closer. Zoltan. Little closer. Look at that look, thing. Look how like, <laughs> dude, it's so light. It's ridiculous. Five I think ounces. It four, it's like right four point nine or something. Four nine. That's silly, dude. Listen, let's see if you can hear the drag. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, golly. Smooth. Yeah. Smooth. Zena. Super sexy. Hey, yeah. hey, Justin. That's not the right Zena. real handle. I put that real handle on there, but. Uh, why? Why'd you change it? Uh, the one the prototype it came with, I didn't like, but they were changing it anyway. Ah, so prototype. Yeah. Hey, Justin. That's a that's a sexy reel. No, you cannot can, have it. Can, oh. <laughs> How did you know I was gonna ask you? <laughs> I just just a tone. It? it was just a tone of your voice. I'm just gonna borrow it for a day. Hey, can hey, Justin. It? Hey, Justin. Uh... <laughs> These big shots always get prototypes. You know, yeah. we don't get prototypes. They're like. Here's a knob from a Zeta reel, guys. Tell us what you think of this knob. Yeah, yeah. Like, thanks, Brad. How about Brad. this screw? Yeah, thanks, Brad. How, how do you think this <laughs> screw will fit on this reel? <laughs> thanks, Rutherford. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, dude. Um, congratulations on the on the Lake Erie FLW Thank win. One hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Thank you. Yeah, um, check this out. I got the. Let's see. Can you see it? Whoa. It's a check. Oh, yeah. It's a check that says one hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. Yes. Got it. I already got it up. Hey, I don't yeah. know if I was supposed to take it from the tournament, but I did it. Anyway. I would. I wouldn't even look twice. You I want, think twice. Dude, you want to know? What's, you want to know? It's funny. As I, I weighed in, got my check, did all this stuff. I did everything, and uh, my batteries were dying before I even weighed in. Well, I get back to my boat. Everybody's gone. I'm the last guy there. My batteries are di- dead. So I trolling motored back to the ramp and I've got a trophy and a hundred and sixty thousand dollar check and I got my motor trimmed up with a dead battery like a like a newbie out there, you know, trolling <laughs> motor and back to the ramp. Awesome. So and a yeah, big ass check. Are like, ah, look at this guy, he just won hundred and sixty grand in batteries suck or something. You know, oh, you're supposed God. to just stack them in your back seat like Happy Gilmore. Yeah, yeah. Peace. Exactly. Just load them up. I don't. I don't win enough to do it like Happy Gilmore. Oh, hey, you will now. Hey, you'd have a few back there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you will now. <laughs> hey, um, I consider you a smallmouth expert. Uh, I, as right. as I'll do many that. bass fishing fans. Okay. As do many of your peers. All right. Yep. And and uh, we're, I'm going to bring on the show now uh, a friend of both of ours. Uh, he's a fellow uh, Abu Garcia Berkeley teammate of ours, uh, as well. And uh, our are we are we how are we doing over there? Are we good on that, Ginch? Couple seconds. Oh, okay. And uh, this guy right now is in Detroit. Yes. Rock, Detroit. Rock City. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? That's the uh, yes. the home of uh, of Kiss, the home of uh, Ted Nugent. There you go, the Nuge. Yep. Motown. Yep. Motown. That's right. And, Very Gordy. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't even know. And of yeah, course. That's the guy. The Didn't lovely there, there he is. Lake St. Clair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you Smiling John Cox. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Look up, hey, Justin Lucas is here, hey, John. Justin's here. Man, good job, Justin, last week, man. That was awesome. <laughs> man, to catch to win two smallmouth tournaments, uh, you know, like that, man. That's just you're the man. Yeah, I'm just doing what you do on Chickamauga on a yearly basis. So. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, and he, hey, and he, and Cox is Mr. Max Scent. Like, he, he was Mr. Max Scent before there was even Max Scent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of prototypes, yeah, he had it. Yeah. He, he had it. Yeah, I mean. You know what's cool, though, is he, he, like, he dominates a largemouth with it, too. It's not just smallmouth. It's. Cox wins at Chickamauga right. on largemouth wood. Yeah, the general. So, yeah. The ge- John John actually has like three pecks and two barrels worth of. Yeah, uh, of, I guarantee <laughs> it. I guarantee of, of generals, I believe. It, it's so hard to throw anything else when they eat it so well, you know. Yeah. It, 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 that that is true, deal. man. And um, and John, you're you're making a uh, a resurgence. We're uh, we're very proud of you. 
uh, <laughs> as as an angler, and um, and I shouldn't say resurgence, maybe a just a, a kindle or a rebirth in angling styles. You are now um a deep water smallmouth expert. So congratulations, John Cox, deep water smallmouth guy. I, I know he almost made the freaking cut over there in uh, Sandusky. Eleventh place there, <laughs> right behind place. you, right behind uh, you. Man, yeah, I think Justin had me by about ten pounds going into yeah, but that one day. But uh, that's, man, the, that's the last thing we need, Cox, is you to start catching smallmouth. <laughs> it's happening. Dude, it started. Freaking, hey. it, it started. Yeah. A little scary. Yeah, I, right hey, now. he's got. Next spot thing you know, lock. he's gonna have two transducers. Yeah, and he has spot <laughs> lock. He's got spot <laughs> yeah. lock, Justin. I did. I did put the spot lock on there, man. I saw. I saw nice. that. Yeah. I saw. It that. is super nice when you're out there, but uh, I hate it in the grass. I okay. just I hate that delayed when it takes off, but uh, yeah, that's true. Besides that, it is it's awesome from being offshore. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> John Cox said it's awesome for being offshore. There's our sound bite of the week. Good night, everybody. Take care. Yeah. <laughs> tell hey Cox, tell them the truth though. How far were you really offshore for those smallmouth? Uh, I wasn't too far. I was in like like 15 feet <laughs> yeah if it's further how far than a cast, how far away the was the bank uh the bank was probably i don't know about 20 or 30 feet <laughs> for me you go. for me i fell way off i was like wow i can't reach the I'm bank, 20 you know, or three off the 20 feet off the bank i'm offshore <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that's great. That's great. <laughs> hey, guys, I learned how to catch them offshore. I was 30 feet off the bank. <laughs> hey, you're, oh, that's awesome. You're, you're you off, see the bottom. Yeah, his, his offshore skills until now have been called feral around the edges. Would you think that that is an accurate description, Justin? Of, of... I don't know what feral means. So. <laughs> like a rabid dog. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but now, uh, but now you're evolving. You're evolving. He's, uh, I mean, just wait till he gets 40 feet off the bank. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be incredible. I mean, he's at, he's at St. Clair. 10 years from now. He's at St. Clair now. Are, are you feeling good, John? I mean, do you feel good about tomorrow going into the Elite Derp? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, this is probably one of the best fisheries, smallmouth fisheries. And, uh, Man, I've been practicing so hard. Like, I mean, even after I left uh, Champlain before Erie, you know, the kids came up and and we we went every day. Like, we went to Buffalo a day, went to uh, Ontario a couple of days. Like, I mean, we just, uh, you know, trying to get dialed on it so I don't, you know, fall out of the points race and the, uh, you know, on these smallmouth lakes. So w when you get back from a smallmouth lake after being on the road, do your um. Do the do the green fish in your home pond kind of like snub nose you? Are they like? <laughs> yeah. Are they all yeah, mad at you? I go I go out there and I catch every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and a slice of cake. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But I mean, you're 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 shaping it up, man. And um, and yeah. I kind of brought you guys together. Um. Uh. By the way, John, I don't know if you know, but we're giving away sixteen bags of flat worms. I I can't believe that. <laughs> I, I mean, they, they are gone. They're, everybody's been calling me wanting them. I mean, it's what everybody's throwing. Uh, well, I, I just can't believe you guys are giving them away. <laughs> 60, so, so, John's uh, Bert, got the whole family liked and shared just because he needs them. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> this Justin, Justin Atkins and Chris Grow liked and shared the feed. So apparently oh, they need flat worms. Yes. Apparently they need flatworms. Both, both Berkeley Pro Staff guys. Yeah, I mean how yeah. how I run. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, I want to know. I want to know who's getting all the black flatworms because I've been I've been dying to get those. Look behind and Justin. I, I <laughs> Look behind him. Is that no, you, no, Justin? No, there's no Justin, flatworms. You got them all. Look behind no him. Flatworms. Look behind him. <laughs> I'm fresh, fresh out. Fresh out. Move on, boys. Move on. <laughs> Look behind him. That's <laughs> what he did. <laughs> no, no flatworms. So, Man. um, I, I don't, I, this, uh, I kind of, I kind of need your help, uh, Justin, uh, and, and I'm hoping right. you're going to give it to, uh, basically to John Cox and, and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, this is kind of why I brought you here because I consider you, um, a true small mouth expert. All right. You, oh, dude, you've spent time. You've spent yeah. time. Well, on the so is John. He just spent. 
Uh, Freaking, that's how you're supposed to do it, man. I understand it. John, <laughs> but John is like a, a little butterfly in his small mouth career. He's just blossoming. <laughs> He's just coming out of the cocoon. He's John coming out of the cocoon of small mouth. Okay? But what I need to give you, what you need to give John, please, for us, Justin, for the entire bass okay. fishing galaxy, I need to get you to give John a motivational smallmouth speech. Can you do that? Oh, jeez. Please. Oh, geez. You used to be on a college show. You have broadcasting experience. He used to host the FLW college thing, John. Justin did. All right. Here, you want to know right, my motivational? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Here you go. Here's the music yeah. for you. Feel it. Feel it, Justin. Feel it. Feel it. Motivate okay. John Cox. John... These smallmouth are so stupid. There was a kid from the Guggen squad that caught one on a piece of lettuce. So if you're not getting bit, wow. keep moving, bro. All right. <laughs> That's good advice. Wow. I'll never forget watching that video. This kid caught one. I think it was Alex Perry. He caught one on a piece of lettuce. <laughs> wacky rig lettuce. Uh, on St. Clair? Like, these, yeah. No, it was on, uh, I think it was on Ontario. But I'm like, okay. <laughs> how, how dumb are these they're dumb fish. They're like, people get mad at me because I say they're dumb. I'm not saying they're easy to catch. I'm not saying they're easy to find. But when you find them and they're not pressured, they're pretty easy to catch. John knows that. I mean, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, if one will eat a piece of lettuce. Come on, guys. So right. he's basically <laughs> saying, remember always that we are smarter than the fish. Right? Yes. And that, and that one bit lettuce before, so we... We need to. We need to. Yeah, we should come out with a lettuce colored flatworm. Yes, that's that it. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> yes, it's a two tone pattern actually. Yeah. The salad shop. Yes, it's kind of like a limeish green on the top and a lighter green on the bottom. Watermelon lime, trans, uh, watermelon lime laminate. There yeah. you go. Lettuce. They, they call there it. Uh, they ju they call it Justin Cox lettuce magic. That's. <laughs> that's. <laughs> whatever oh, whatever man. that means hey um uh john did you know i want i got some interesting facts uh and justin i want to share some interesting facts that you might not know about your your friend and fellow uh berkeley yabu teammate john cox <laughs> um so we've we've become quite close with john cox over the years since your your uh your forced wood uh cup victory i mean that it, I, I, I remember the first time we met john on the show i think he had a whole lineup of big gulps of Slurpees <laughs> right right after yeah. winning the Forest Wood Cup. I think he'd been up since he won the Forest Wood <laughs> Cup. That's correct. Uh, yeah. And and, and uh, gave probably the best bass fishing interview in history ever. Look it up. It's John Cox's first interview on Straight Cast. It's amazing. But here's something um, that we also learned, uh, that John was a handyman. Did you know that? Just, I did not. John, nope. before he was a bass fisherman, was a handyman, and he he fixed okay. things. He's a, he's very handy with things. So he was like, if if like people in his town in Florida needed stuff done, they're calling Smiling Johnny, and he'd come over and fix it. Yeah, he did quote handyman stuff. Handyman <laughs> stuff. That was in his bio. Did you know that uh, yeah. that that uh, that John's uh, best friend uh, growing up was Spencer Doolittle? I don't know who that is. That right, John? Spence. Spence. That, that is true story. That's, that's, a, that's who, is, a, who is that? Tell him, John. Cartoon like character. He, he's a kid I went fishing with pretty much every day. Every day of his life. See, this is things every we... Day. See, wait, now, <laughs> Justin, I'm trying to so move. Am I supposed to know who he is, or is this just like, no, he's just your buddy? No, 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 no. Yeah, just, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, okay. I'm like, no, is he somebody I should know? Or oh, is this no. like Oh, he will be. You watch <laughs> okay. out when Spencer okay. comes on the show next time. Uh and uh and we heard the story of Walter. Everyone knows the story of Walter, right? Yeah, I know that story. Yeah. I walk, I follow it along. Yeah, the the story of Walter. And um and, and, and John, I, I think that now we are learning now that you are evolving as an angler. And you are now becoming um, smallmouth expert and deep water guy, John Cox. John Cox with, with spot lock. That's right. <laughs> yes. I, I'm, I'm only keeping it two more tournaments and then... And I'm going back to the porch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you're done. 
Yeah, I, I, when I when I uh, posted that on my story, I lost a few hundred followers. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're like, "No, you did it." Well, no, dude, did it. when I was ordering the Crestliner, you're like, "Don't get the spot lock." <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and I and I did. I got it. You know, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love the. Yeah, band. yeah. <laughs> hey, um. Hey, I know um, that, John, you have a big tournament tomorrow, but while I have you guys both here, it would not be a uh, stray cast spirit if we did not play uh, some sort of game, okay? So let's play. You want to play Guess the Bass Fishing Pro? Sure. Oh, yeah, you don't have a choice. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, we're going to do Guess the Bass Fishing. Who wants to go first, J Justin or John? Go ahead, John. All right. All right. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Do rock, paper, scissor. Do it. Go. Rock, paper, All scissors. Right. One, two. Yep. Three. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh rock, paper, scissors. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> what, what do you got? Yeah. I got scissors. I got scissors. Uh, <laughs> I'll go first. I'll all go right. First. Ju Justin's I'll going first. So we are going to play you an audio clip of a professional angler, uh, your peers. And you need to tell us who this professional angler is. Um, I, I want to remind you, these sounds may sound obscene and vulgar, but they are not. Oh, okay. God, another big one. <laughs> another freaking giant. Oh, baby. Get your butt in there, please. Another giant tried to come in. <laughs> Girl, get back in there. What is Jacob Peroznik? Ooh. No, that is not correct. Really? That is not correct. Still going. Still going. John, would you like to take a stab at that? Um, is it, uh, is it Rojas? No, no. It, it is not Rojas. Good guess, uh, though. It is okay. not Rojas. Moving on. Zero, zero. Okay. No, flat, no flatworms for you, John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the correct answer is, uh, did, did, does anybody have it on the chat? JP, does anyone have it on the chat? No. No? Nobody got that? No. Wow. How did nobody get that? Really? Play, play it again. Oh, yeah. Somebody yeah, play that again. again. I'm, I'm a, I, this is appalling, honestly. Oh, my God. Another big one. Listen, guys. Another freaking giant. Oh, baby. Get your butt in there, please. Oh, yeah. They got another giant tried to come in. Just, girl, get back in there. Girl, get back in there. Girl, get back in there. Back up, baby. I don't know who it is. Still, that's Ishman Rose yeah. talking sweet and sexy with his big, Dude, with his I big white too. Ish, but he, it didn't, his... it, at first it sounded like him, but then it stopped. Ah, yeah, he, I he, didn't... That's from the first <laughs> Elite Series Derby, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the first ever. Two, like he was he was coaxing the big girls with his big white too, with, with the big white tiger too. Yeah, <laughs> it's what he was doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Dang it. <laughs> Moving. All right, we guys both screwed that one up. Who got it on the chat? Yeah. Give a uh, give a shout out. Who got that one? Who was the first one? A lot of them did. Tell him a name. Give the him a first, shout out. First one Jigs who... McThumps got it. Jigs McThump. Herb Schmerler from Milwaukee, Wisconsin right. got that John's one. Gotta go to okay. Oh, John's got a tournament. Okay, Robert John. Uh, next tournament. one. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, uh, the next one. Yeah. John's up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little goosey. <laughs> That's a four pounder. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little goosey. Dude. Is it? Is it? Go ahead. Is it Aaron? It's yeah. Aaron yeah, Martin. Aaron. Of course, yeah. it's Aaron. <laughs> yes! <Yeah>. Yes! <laughs> I feel defeated over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the last one, and then John's got to go to bed. Okay, two more. Two more. Two more. Two, two more. more. All right, two more. All right. Oh, my God. Come on, G. Get it back up. Come on, G. Straight. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! You want me, baby? Swindle. Swindle. Uh, yeah. He got it. He clear, got it. Clear yeah. Lake. Clear Lake, 10 pounder under a dock on a bastard swim day. Oh, Look at you. Oh, bonus points. Yeah. Look at you. He just got oh, extra that was credit. Impressive. He did. Oh, that was impressive. He did. Now I'm gonna need you guys to buzz in for this one. <laughs> all right. This is the final right. one of the evening. I'm gonna need you to buzz in for this. This is for all the marbles. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes! Yes! Yeah! Rohan. Yeah. Oh, he got it! He got it, John! Yeah. Ah, he wins Rohan. again! Yes! God! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most obscene one by far. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive. It's pretty impressive. Um, John, uh, sincerely, thank you so much for, hey. for coming on to say. Oh, yeah, Ryan, what, before yeah. we go, tell yeah, them. Yeah, real quick. I want you guys to both hear this because these stats that you both have are, may we call them hella mega impressive? These are mega stats. <laughs> mega yes. stats, okay? You may not have heard this. Yeah. And, and Justin, I'm just going to warn you now. I don't have your BPT stats yet because their numbers are a little weird. All so. you need to know is he caught uh, 141 here, pounds in here's a day. What, yeah, you did that. Yeah. So we <laughs> talked about that. Yeah. Oh, well, good. We'll, we'll start with you, Justin. I'm going to start with your Bassmaster number here, which is a little weird. Um, but you're, you're, you've won $172,592 with Bassmaster. Not shabs. You, you Not fished 67 shabs. events. You've caught 2,597 pounds of bass. Whoa. And that comes out to three hundred and thirty-six dollars a pound, <laughs> and that's just your Bassmaster stat. Wow. wow! Now what I did here is I combined your FLW and your Bassmaster for an interesting number. Uh oh! So combined, you have won one million five hundred ninety thousand four hundred forty-six dollars. Yo! Wow! Out Holy. of one hundred and fifty-four events. And you are averaging ten thousand three hundred and twenty-seven dollars per event. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shnikes! And you thought yeah. you were in a slump, Lucas? Don't miss yeah. an event. Yeah. 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 That's you, incredible. You man. ain't no slump, buddy. Yeah. So basically, you're averaging a check, an event, at, le at least <laughs> yeah. a cut every event, ten thousand. What's the handyman Blind, doing? Blind, blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so John. John, I've got your numbers as well. Is this going to motivate him for tomorrow? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Get ready, John. No, no, it's not far off, actually. Um, your Bassmaster numbers, $278,646 okay. in Bassmasters, 48 events, 1,300 like pounds, and you're at $214 a pound in your short Bassmaster career. Whoa! 214 on LB! Whoa. Now, with your <laughs> FLW numbers combined... Now, in FLW, you've won one million four hundred sixty-five thousand <laughs> nine hundred twenty-four dollars. Whoops! Now, all together, all together, you've won one million seven hundred forty-four thousand five hundred seventy dollars in hundred and eighty derbs, and that comes out to nine thousand six hundred ninety-two dollars per event. Unbelievable! Jeez. Unbelievable! John Cox, That's the businessman. Where, where did all that money go? The businessman. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, before Generals. you before you go, I just yeah. want to <laughs> yeah, all in general, yeah. and and yeah. uh, and you're willing to spend it on black flatworms, just so you know. Yeah. Yeah. But but here's just what cut the general in half. You got a flatworm. Here's where I want to give John props, though, in 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 front of the entire Bass Galaxy, and especially you, Justin Lucas, that um, John Cox is the definition of a proper bassin businessman okay and here's why here's why and you're gonna i know you you know where i'm going justin he fishes both tours his business is catching bass that's it. oh yeah that's it yeah he, yeah if no he could, he's the man he's the man everybody respects john it, cox like out of nowhere and not out of nowhere i shouldn't say that but like all of a sudden in bass fishing history there is now a, a, a presence of a guy that doesn't even use a damn fish finder just put a spot lock on his boat and is still whooping ass. And uh, and and that's you know, what, you know what I love is that he's sponsored by Berkeley and Abu Garcia. <laughs> yes, he's, kick, he's kicking everybody's butt with Berkeley stuff and Abu stuff out of an aluminum boat. It's beautiful. Uh, yes, uh, we, we love it. All, <laughs> all the all the pros inside tip here, all the pros respect the crap out of John Cox. <laughs> Yeah, like so, I, I was talking they to lo they love him. Everybody loves him. I was talking to Fighter on the phone. He's like, dude, I want to be friends with that guy. I'm like, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's you, John. That's you. Oh, Smiling Johnny. Yeah. Smiling Johnny, yeah. man. Thanks. Hey, John, Thanks, best man. of luck tomorrow. Be safe. Thanks. Get, get some, some butt, John. Yeah, John oh, man, Cox. I hope so. John Cox, right there, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much, guys. bud. Yeah. Peace. Thanks. All right. See you guys. Heck yeah. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Justin, did you have fun, dude? 
It was fun. Thank you for having me. Thank you. He's got to give away the bait. I know. Oh, we got to give away the bait. Oh, yeah. I got to announce the winner. Did you you get it texted to you? I got him, too. Okay. So we're going to give away. This is, um, we have two winners then, right? You got two winners. Okay. And uh, the the first. One of the packs, one of the things is going to come from me and one from you guys. Okay. Or Brad or whatever. Berkeley, Brad. Yeah. One of the one of the groups of eight of product. So you want me to announce the winners? Wait, we're gonna give you a royal fanfare. Do it in like a royal voice, okay? Do it like a royal Justin Lucas, Lord of Flatworm voice. And the winner, number one, Kevin Mims. Kevin Mims. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Kevin. Yes. Yes, Kevin. You won. You won pack. The eight pack. The first eight pack. Yeah. We're all from the Berkshires. Yes, Kevin. Keep in mind these are JDM. Like no one else in America has this. Stuff, I know. So it's pretty cool. Exactly. That yeah. means ja- and... Japanese dessert menu. By the way. Yes. Japanese dessert menu. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. For sure. Wasabi. All right, winner number two. We have. This name, I I know the first name. Wait, hold on. We got fa- we got to do this right, man. This is Flatworms. Where's our royal fanfare? I lost it. Gosh dang it! Ju- get your voice back, Justin. Your royal. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Your, ro- your royal troubadour voice. You ready? My bad. My my fault, Sir Patrick. Yeah, there's no problem, <laughs> Sir Lord of the yeah. Flatworm. And for winner number two, yes. we have Jake. <laughs> Whatever the hell. He's Jake Schwarm. Yeah, they, uh, they sniffed my yeah. germ. They took your germ. They sniffed your germ. Yeah. Jake, Jake sniffed your germ. Jake C-H-O-I-N-I-E-R-E. Oh, and sometimes why? Jake, Sh- Jake, Jake Chaka Khan, I believe. We'll, Jake, yeah. we'll get yeah, it to him. Whatever. Uh, we're go- uh, uh, what are they doing now? They're direct messaging the Straycast Facebook page. Correct. That is, uh, and we will get Sweet. the information uh, to you, uh, uh, Mr. Lucas, the champion. Yeah. As yeah, well yeah, yeah. as as Berkeley uh, fishing. We catch more fish with Berkeley Maxent. Now here's yes. one. Now there now tell me go. this. Tell me this. Can you? How long can you put your face in a bag of Maxent for before you gag? <sighs> Like, dude, it stinks. All right, it dude, really does. Go get stink. a bag. Yeah, I'm not. Get a bag. Not into it, man. Get a bag, dude. Go get no. a bag. Go get a no. bag. I'm out. Come on. I do, I do that, dude. It's bad. I'm not gonna sit there. No way. No. <laughs> do you do I've you ever bite stuff. it off? Do you ever bite smelled, one and shorten no, it? No, I never put it in my mouth. Oh, ever. Don't. Uh, I have smelt that stuff on my hands for three weeks in a row. Oh. I'm out, dude. I'm trying to. I'm trying to cleanse here. I'm trying to cleanse from Max. <laughs> I'll tell you, the smell is terrible, but I've had that stuff in my mouth. It's not as bad. Yeah. It's not as bad as you think. Well, I'm not going to try it, but that's yeah. from hanging out with all those uh, those uh, town energy. The big girls in town. I'll give you Max energy. Hey. There you go. Justin Lucas, you are a three tour champion. You are a bad man, Bajamba. Um, welcome back mentally. Welcome thank back. You. We're thank glad you. to have yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, thank you've thank always you. been a champion. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. You I'll heard, take it. You heard the stats from Popcorn Whitaker. Like this. I know. You know. You just got to go through some. You got to go through. You know. You can't just ride the high like Jordan Lee and Jacob Wheeler all the time. Even those guys eventually. I'm glad gonna... you beat those guys. By the way, thanks for beating okay, Jordan yeah. and yeah. Jacob yes. Wheeler. We had yeah. enough of them. We love them. But and people are people are rooting for other people now. Yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. Come on. It's just ten, turn. ten G's per derb, man. Because you know it's just that's, in that's time. Nice. Think about that. Yeah, there it is. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Justin Lucas, thank you so much. Thank you, Berkeley Fishing. Dude, you're awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, guys, enjoyed it. Thank you. Seriously. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll win one early next year and get back on there. Yeah, and yes, uh, and our show is your show, dude. Hope you know that. Yeah, I do. I love it. Thank I appreciate you. it, guys. And Peace. thanks for all the fun. It was a blast. And we'll get those Max Scent baits out to these guys. There it is. Justin Lucas, he's a champion. See ya. Right there. Peace, thanks, brother. Justin. Peace. See ya. Yes. All right. Fun, wow. fun. Fun, fun. So two eight packs of Berkeley flatworms. Yeah. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty much something else. 
<laughs> I'm so upset that we can't win. <laughs> it's pretty much something else. Yeah, it's kind of like a mystery tackle box. They may get <laughs> So is yeah. that how we're are we yeah, going to break? Yeah, we got to take yeah, Do we still break? Are we still breaking yeah, even though we gave it? Okay. Uh, hey. so you know what? We're giving away two mystery tackle boxes when we get back. So um here is your chance on the chat board. Don't go anywhere. Two of you lucky viewers on the chat board are going to get a chance to win August's a uh, mystery tackle box compliments at Carl and MTB hat guy. Don't go anywhere. Coming right back. Put the power poles down. Boom. Bite me. It's a command to the fish. Quality jig heads with quality components. With tried and true tackle like the big dude Gobi head. The hunter or Jacob head. Or all new tackle like the jackpot net head or buster swim bait head. Bite me. It's a command to the fish. Get the let out and visit BiteMeTackle.com today. Hey guys, Micah Frazier here. I've got a bait from War Eagle Baits called the Buzz Toad. Big thing lately has been putting a toad style bait on a buzz bait and preferably it's my favorite way to fish one. Uh, this bait here's got a quick planing head, a great hook, and it squeals right out of the package. Uh, the, the body of this bait is big and bulky so it allows you to skip it. It, it planes quicker than a skirted bait would. Um, in my opinion, it's just the way to, it's the way to fish a buzz bait. So y'all check this thing out, it's pretty awesome. This is Carl. He's been obsessed with fishing since he was a widow tadpole. People have always said he has a unique style, that he skips to the speed of his own cast, so to speak. So when he started his own tackle shop, he did it his way. With exciting new products every month and great deals on fishing essentials. But the best part, he started a club with amazing member benefits. Go say hi to Carl at shopcarls.com. Mike Iaconelli, this is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV. Flatworm. 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 Welcome back. You know what show this is? Straight Cats. I'm waiting for you guys to tell me. Straight Cats. <laughs> it's not a dry eye in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. This is Straight Cats. It's a glorified version of the, uh, the Bass Fishing Talk Show. Sometimes I thrive on awkwardness. I'm sorry that I do that. But Straight Cats, yes, right? Exactly. Hey, uh, you know what we want to do now? is open mystery tackle boxes. Ooh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Is it all there? Are you ready, JP? Yeah. Are you ready, Andy? Yeah. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Ready. All right. Well, who's going first? I don't have one. Right. Well, Andy's got one. This one's empty. Andy, you go first. It's just for show. Open up, open up the mystery tackle box. Ooh. Tell us what you're doing. It's 
Hold it up to the camera. Are you where you the Oh, there you are. I had to open Oh, you it. slice her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, am I picking for me or for them? I don't know. Hmm. Well, well, I get, I'm letting winning, you right? guys close the show. I, it's not right. going well. This is so what far. they're winning? Yeah. Oh, well, I know what I'm picking. <laughs> we have one sad, there confused bunch up here. That's all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going with the new exopods. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, what big color? Metric. What color? I can't see. Okeechobee Craw. Okeechobee Craw mm. exopods. It works yeah. everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I like them. Can they I work see on those? The, they work on the back of a, back of a biffle knuckle. Oh, yeah. good Lord. Swim jig. This thing's awesome. <laughs> you name it, it's uh, it's there. Wow. Um. All right, okay. You, oh, you're passing it? JP's next. I passed the jig. In the eighth anniversary, eighth month, mystery yeah. tackle box, August edition. So I pulled out a, Let boo- me see that, a booyah bait. It's like a popper with a bill. Whoa. Oh, it's called Ooh. a prank. Ha, <laughs> get it? Because it's a, a popper and a crank. So they're oh, tricking you? I do get it now. <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> it's a prank. You want me to show the camera? Yeah, bring it here. Yeah. Andrew Berger, Ellen. Ooh. It's oh, a pop yeah, crank. Yeah, yeah. It's a pop crank. It's a pop crank. Talk about pop crank. Okay. The pop crank. I don't, I don't know what you do with that. What do I got yes. here? What do you got, Rye? What do you got in your MTB? The suspense. He's cherry I'm, picking. I'm going to go with the old. He is, too. I'm going to go with the old bump cap here, round ball, shaky head jig. Oh. Just keeping it simple. Kiss, right? Whoa. Oh. That's a screw lock, ball head. Okay. It's like a nice hook, light wire hook. And, uh, yeah. The old shaky head. fish anywhere on that. The old Clint Davis shaky head Ooh. is what they call that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere. It's just a fish catcher. Yeah. God, the packaging on this Catch Coast stuff is incredible. Oh, they do things. <laughs> they do things. It's so cool. They do things, right. They do things. Yeah. There's a hammer on there. To be and announced soon. It's more of a positive image than a sledgehammer, you know? Are you ready? I am. Oh, wait. All right. Hold on. I'm going to reopen the switchblade. Switchblade. For the camera. There it is. See that? It's fast, lightning, quick, like a switchblade. That means keep your distance. When the lightning strikes, opening up the August edition... But also watching to make sure I don't cut myself at the same time with the sharp utensil that I have. Probably just got the facts. So uh, I picked uh, a, up a bait, and I didn't even look. I ran Do Calrissian to this. Rando Calrissian means what, JP? <laughs> Star Wars. Yes. What does what does I Rando Calrissian did mean? Random. Right? Yes, I randomly chose this bait, which is a crankbait. Ironically, and it's the uh, it's the Loco 10 by Castaic. You ever throw crankbaits? Uh, I've been known to wind a few things in my days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shake it slowly, do the bump and grind. You know what I mean? Sure. Boom. I picked the uh, the Castaic Loco 10. It's a nice little compact, uh, appears to be 10 foot bait in a good old sexy shad color. Yeah, man. Bingo. There it is. There's our MTB uh, box. Bingo. For August, 8th anniversary edition. There's also a, Caste- or a classic. Oh, the Roadrunner. Yeah. The Jimmy Houston thing. It's yeah. Shad, it's Remember? Shad Spawn season. It, it is Shad Spawn season. It's perfect. The Casey Ashley thing. It's a little, bu- it's a little yeah. Uh, yeah, he can skin a book. He can set a trot line. Casey Ashley can survive. <laughs> Casey Ashley can survive. Oh, wait, that's a different song. That's not his song. No, that's no, uh, Hank so. Jr. Uh, JP knows there, it. There's some mustad hooks, which are hard to get. Tight rope. Yeah. Right now, right? There's a, yep. uh, oh, hey, hey, oh, yeah, hey. Look at this one well, there. How much stuff is in that? Oh, oh yeah. Get? Is that old Chop Chop? That's a Chapo. Look at that. Whoops, sorry, uh, <laughs> Mystery Tackle Box winner <laughs> number bum, two. Bum, bum. Um, here's some Excite trailers. Um, the Exo Spods. That, uh, this is the deluxe uh, eighth anniversary edition. Here's a Lunker Hunt square bill. Wow. Um, and... Just loaded, loaded, absolutely loaded. Wait, uh, what's the sticker? D- no. Uh, d- yeah, what sticker? <laughs> I, that that I is have, important. You have to you. ask Andy about I that. Took those out. Um, oh, man, <laughs> he opened these and then retaped them with UPS packing tape. They're already <laughs> on Andy's kick drum. Yes, yep. they are. <laughs> Sorry, but you know what? Uh, this month, how appropriate that the stickers are, the uh, the, the the mama papa of hmm. MTB and Carl's, and that is. 
the catch company. Nice. Right there. Catch nice. code. Catch code sticker. Sweet. August. Right there. Uh, okay, so now we're going to pick winners. I don't care how you do it. Um, Go ahead and uh, and and pick... Uh, Oh wait! How, Let's ask ask him some kind of question. Okay, first question is how many fingers am I holding up behind this mystery tackle box? First one to ring in wins. First one to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Nobody yeah, behind Nobody. this. That's missing two fingers. <laughs> I used to be a carny. Just oh, so you know. Nobody knows. Just nobody's guessed. You worked on the Tilta World. That's all you need to know. Nobody signed uh, in. Like that's uh, a, I don't know. I don't know the answer. Uh, d- d- that's a hard question. It's the first answer. It's the first oh. one. All they got to oh. do is comment. Se- who who guessed seven? That's it. You that's win. actually how many fingers I have. That's up. It, there it is. Look. Yeah, it's all of them. Look. Watch. Watch. Seven. That's five. Oh wait, my hand keeps. Mojo rising. All right. <laughs> Seven Mims. Seven. So who won that? <laughs> the guy who won the flatworms. He no, can't you do can't. that. No, no. No, DQ. Who, who was second? DQ. Who was second? Absolutely, I'm not doing that. We can't have double. Fine, I'm not even here. giving this stuff away. Fine. John, Josh yeah, let's Steely. Let's just go night fishing. Yeah. There you go. I'm taking this. Who is it? Chopper. Josh Steely. Josh, Josh Steely. Steely. Josh Steely. Steely Josh. Oh, Steely Dan. Do you know yeah. who Steely Dan is? And then the <laughs> yeah, second. Chevy Chase was their first drummer. Did you know that? Josh. Josh Steely. Josh Steely. Send us a private message. You won a mystery tackle box. Yes. And Josh Steely, Dan, you won. Nice job. Joseph Hinselhoff, because it sounds like Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff Joseph. is a big <laughs> you deal. <win. laughs> there you go. Absolute big deal. That's and Joseph, how we do that. Hinselhoff Joseph Hasselhoff, send us a, a message. You won a mystery tackle box. Direct message. Yeah. Uh, totally random. Yes. We are back Say next to CJ. week. Uh, same bass time, same bass channel. What do you got? I got an A mark. Oh my gosh! Oh, Charity Almighty, Derp. thank you so much, Ryan, yeah. for reminding okay, come me. Come on, our buddy A Mart. Oh my goodness yeah, man. gracious! Yeah, hey, guys, there is this awesome tournament. So, so everybody knows. Uh, most people know A Mart's had some trouble, medical problems. He's doing well. He had cancer. He's doing well. Brain cancer. Yeah. Yes. Uh, his his bills are, you know, massive. Of so uh, they're doing this charity tournament. It's the it's the Aaron Martin's charity tournament. The website is amartcharitytournament.com. Okay. If you don't get in this, you're you're stupid. Amartcharitytournament.com. Yeah, so it's gonna the the event is September twelfth through September twentieth. The venue, this is the best fishing venue they've ever had. Wait. Like that's ever been held. Okay, go ahead. I it's, don't it's the world. The world. <laughs> the entire world. The entire world. Is, the, is the that's venue. the Blake. The yeah, world you can is the fish lake. anywhere. Um, it's going to be a Connect Scale app tournament, so okay. you're going to get your, you can you can enter on amartcharitytournament.com, or you can enter on the Connect Scale app. Uh, first place is going to be twenty five hundred in cash, fourteen hundred in retail. They're giving away a Shimano Stella wow. and a Loomis Conquest, along with twenty five hundred cash for first. Fancy. They're paying out one hundred and seventy seven spots. You can fish every day of the September 12th through the 20th. And it's going to be your best five in inches. So fish anywhere. Go on the website. All the rules are there. Um, aside from that, they're also doing a Fish with a Pro auction on the same site. Gotcha. Are you ready for this list of pros? Yeah. That you can enter? Who you got? It's pretty huge. <laughs> no. All right. Here we go. All right. So you go on there, and you can enter for each pro. So whatever your favorite pro is, you can you can donate bid on a pro. The, you can bid on a pro. Yeah, bid a pro. It, it, it's like a, it's like a date. Yeah, um, dial a date. So here's the list: Kevin Van Dam, Mark Zona, Jacob Whoa. Wheeler, Jordan Lee, Hank Cherry, Gerald Swindle, Brian Thrift, Ot Defoe, Randy Howell, Denny Brower, Chris Lane, Todd Faircloth, Gary Klaus, Brandon Card, Mark Daniels Jr., David Mullins, Jesse Tacarante, Brent Chapman, Cody Huff, and Koto Kiriyama. Wow! Holy cow! You can bid on any one of those. And and win a day of fishing, an eight hour day of fishing with these guys. That's pretty B A Barack. And if you don't want to do any of this, you can just go on there and donate to the cause. A hundred percent of the money is going to the Martins family. And uh, like I said, it's fifty dollars to enter the tournament. When, website, the again. tournament. website again. Website again. dot com. Fifty dollars. And and you're gonna one hundred and seventy seven places. Yeah. You're gonna win your money back at like one hundred and fiftieth or something. And then below that, you're still going to win like $30. And then just donate it back yeah, anyway. Just, yeah, <laughs> just do it. That's how we yeah, do it. Yeah, it's dumb. 
This is how we do it. You're going but, fishing. Yeah, check it, it out. Take a picture and, and help send out it out. Amart. He's helped yeah. us out. He's entertained us for years and, and, and showed us uh, the beauty of We bass experienced fishing. a little fishing without that guy, and it sucked. Yeah. And he's back, and it's awesome. We are happy that uh, Aaron has joined us again on this thin raft of bassing. And we bid you to please, please help Aaron and, and his family, the Martins family, if you can. Uh, thank you, Berkeley Fishing. Uh, for throwing in the mega hella flatworm contest. Thank you, Justin Lucas, for equally matching and contributing like a true baller champion would, matching up. Uh, thanks, John Cox, for coming on the show and on your uh, on the uh, on the eve of a great smallmouth event, which we're looking forward to tomorrow on ESPN Bassmasters. And uh, yeah, thanks to uh, thanks to Carl's MTB Crestliner. Everybody, all the good peeps, TH, Power Bowl, to make this deal happen. We, we bid you peace. We see you next week right here on Stray Cast. I'm Pat Remwick. <laughs> JP High, Andrew Ellenberger, and Ryan Whitaker. And uh, thanks, Jake Haas, for helping out over in New Jersey. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you, Jake. Appreciate it. Peace.